In this video, I'm going to dive in to the crazy world of Kriya and show you some really creative videos you can make from turning the videos into a captivating story with voiceovers and creating beautiful animations, plus more. I'm sure you'll be surprised at the videos that it can generate. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm on the Kriya website and I'll be focusing on the video generation tool. So click in there. So we've got our timeline here and I've actually created my own version of Kriya's demo that they had with the samurai and the Tengu mask. So I just created my own versions of a samurai and a Tengu mask and placed them into this timeline. How it works is you just add images to the time frame, and then you can add an image prompt as well below it. So because I've only got two images here, it should transition between the two images and merge them. And this is what makes Kriya's video generations stand out from others. So if I click play, you'll notice it has a really nice blend between the two images. Now, if we come into settings here, you can change the aspect ratio, the motion intensity, and if you want it to loop. I'll show you how to create looped videos later on. And on the left here, we have different styles. So that one I just created was in the film style. You've also got render, animation, and experimental. And if you come over here, you can change the clip duration. So the max you can go to is 10, and this one I've got is on five. To add an image in, all you have to do is click on the time frame, and then upload your image, and it will drop down here. And for the prompts, you can drag how long you want that prompt to be. And if you want to add one, you just click on the timeline there and click it and then type in what your prompt is. And then to delete, just press the trash icon. So your prompt will affect this whole area where you've dragged it to. So I'll try a different style now. When you go to generate a video, it will create a low res version first. So you can see this blue loading bar just kind of going through the video. And then once that's completed, it will show you a preview of a low resolution version. As you can see, it's playing here and it's not quite as high quality as a fully rendered piece. And now we can see this other loading bar happening and this is the enhanced version. So if you don't like what you see in the preview, you can come over here and click to cancel it. Otherwise, just let it load and then it should update this video up here with the enhanced version. And that looks pretty cool. It's very similar to the film version. So let's have a look at how all the different styles look and how different they are. So here is the animation style and it's quite different. I don't think it works as well as the other ones, but it's still unique looking. And this is the experimental one and it's really cool. Definitely a lot different than the others, but I love how different it is and you don't quite know what to expect. And to show how different the motion intensity changes a video, this is a video created with motion intensity at 10%. As you can see, it moves a lot slower through the blending. And here's what it looks like with motion intensity at 100%. I feel like it's going a bit too crazy, and it seems like the details have been sharpened for some reason. I'm sure it will work better with different images, but it's just really interesting to see how the different motion intensity changes the video. Kriya now also have an upscale video feature, but at the time of recording, it's only available to Max users. So feel free to check that out if you're on the Max plan. So now I want to show you how to create some really cool time-lapse style videos. I found a really good way to do this is coming to the real-time AI generation tool here. So with this, whatever you draw on this canvas will turn into an image on this right side here. I have to shout out Ramon Teleco for inspiring this awesome idea. So I want to create a plant growing. So first of all, I'll just color in the background as the sky. Now this is just an example, but you can create whatever you like. I'll just show you how I do it. Okay, so you can see it's added a AI generated image of my very poorly done drawing here. And you can change the AI strength in the top here. If I go down to 0.1, it would look very much like my drawing and not very good. But the more I pump it up, if I go to 
I wouldn't suggest taking it all the way to one as it doesn't look quite like the image I've drawn. It takes liberties and kind of makes it look too different. So I found the sweet spot is at seven. You might notice it looks a bit low quality, but if you come over here, you can click quick enhance and it will make it look a lot nicer. I'll draw about six or seven images in total. So when I've found that first one that I like, I'll click download and then I'll just start to add more to the image. So as you can see, the more I add to it, the more this one enhances. So I'll just keep adding a little bit more to each image and then download it until I've got all the images for my sequence that I'm happy with. Okay, so I think I'm happy with my sequence of images and now it's time to create a video with them. So I'm back in the video generator. I'll just get rid of my samurai images and the prompts. I'll make this video about eight seconds long. So like I said, all you have to do is click and then I'll drag in the images and it pops down here. So I'll just keep adding the images to make up this sequence. And you can also add the same image twice if you want it to hold onto that image for a bit longer as well. Okay, so I'm happy with my image selection. So I've got the plant growing and then a flower starts growing and then it reverts back down. So it's kind of the evolution. And then if I make sure looping is on, it should create a really nice looped video. So I've added a prompt in realistic plant growing. I'll use that for those two images. And then I'll add realistic plant moving for these two images. And then I've added red flower growing on plant. And I'll have that stretch over these ones. And then on the last prompt, I'll add flower going down. So I'll use the film style for this one. I'll have a motion sensitivity of around 60. I'll keep it at a one to one aspect ratio and I'll have it loop. So I'll click generate video and it's come out looking really nice. It's got this really cool time lapse effect to it. And I think that's what Creo does really well compared to other AI video generators. And if you do a step-by-step -step method like this, I think it can get some really unique results. And remember, you can download your videos here. And out of curiosity, this is what that video looks like in the other styles. And here's another example of creating a time-lapse effect. So for this one, I wanted a tree in a forest and for it to go through the four different seasons. So as you can see, it goes through summer, autumn, winter, and spring. And I think it looks beautiful. And here I have changed the aspect ratio. So you can use it for smartphone and widescreen. And they work really, really well. And it got me thinking of the metamorphosis of a butterfly. So I actually created an image of its egg, a caterpillar, its larvae, and then a butterfly. And it created a really nice animation. For this next example, I want to look at making a story sequence. So I wanted to tell a story of a magician who disappears and turns into a lion. So I just created four images. So hopefully the magician should disappear with a puff of smoke and then a lion should appear and then the lion should be jumping out towards us. So I'll add the appropriate prompts and fingers crossed that it works. And it looks pretty cool. It's got a really nice transition between each image kind of can see that he disappears and the lion emerging out of the smoke looks really cool. And then it loops nicely. I had a really cool idea to see if I could make an animated graphic novel kind of style video. So I've got these black and white comic strip style images which are in a sequence. So this is a story of a man visiting Dracula's castle. And it did a really good job of blending these images and you can kind of tell there is a story behind it. And then I thought, why don't I add some sound effects and some voiceover? So this is what my short clip sounds like with some voiceover and some sound effects. The man stood before Dracula's castle in amazement. It had a certain beauty to it, even though it was home to one of the world's great horrors. He was shocked and yet comforted to what he witnessed inside. There he was, Dracula, alone, and grieving. Now I know this is a short video but you can keep creating more content and then just edit them together using some video editing software. 
and I think this has a lot of potential for some really unique storytelling. Now let's have a look at creating some really interesting pattern animations. Now, Creer is perfect for creating these weird psychedelic patterns. So for this animated pattern one, I've just added in three different images that look similar but with different colors. And then for the prompt, I've just put in colorful pattern moving. And I've put it across all of the images underneath them. And the final result looks absolutely mesmerizing. I love how it just kind of blends these patterns together to create this psychedelic kind of hypnotizing effect. This works really well for music videos, I find, as you can set it to loop, create a YouTube channel with relaxing music, and then just create loads of these patterns and have it play non-stop in the background. So I thought I would try it out with a music track that I created with Udio, and it just works really well with the visuals. And here's another one I created using that plant video. I also tried an experiment of merging the tree video with the pattern video, and it looks awesome. It blends together seamlessly and it's very trippy. So now I'm going to show you how you can create infinite loops of your video. So I'm going to use the free online video editor from CapCut. I'll create a new video and I've uploaded that liquid video. So if I right click it on the timeline, I can choose to duplicate or copy and then you just move it and put it next to the first one. And then you just copy and paste them to create it as long as you want. As I play it back, it transitions seamlessly throughout these edits. So it's extremely easy to create infinite loops of your videos. Just make sure you've got the loop setting on in Creer. And here's a few more examples of what I've created. So hopefully this gets you inspired. You really can create a wide variety of videos. So we've reached the end of this video and I hope you can see the potential with how creative you can be using Creer and I'm sure it will get much better as time goes on. I'm definitely going to be experimenting a lot more with this tool. So feel free to comment down below with any tips or tricks you want to share using Creer and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Feel free to click the image on screen to watch one of our other videos. Thanks for watching.